What's going on, everybody? It's your own boy, Keep Line Network here. I'm chilling out, Max. Now, doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now, in this video, we are basically going to be talking about Fast and the Furious 7's ending. Now, I did get an exclusive look behind it because of the connection that Keep Line has. Now, basically, we're going to be talking about it. Now, basically, Fast and Furious, um, you know, everybody wasn't really feeling like it would be the same because of Paul Walker's death. So, basically, so basically, for Fast and Furious 7, at the end, the directors decided to actually do a tribute to Paul Walker, basically explaining his life, you know, when he first started out with the major scenes he did, a lot of the emotional scenes, how his family actually reacted when, um, you know, he died, um, the last moments of, you know, him being alive. It was a real emotional scene, you know, like, um, a lot of people that was actually watching it also was crying late eyes out. Like, basically, I got access to it through a live stream. It was the official, uh, you know, directors and such, so it was cool. But I had access to the whole tribute and everything. I can't put the tribute up now because, well, I don't own the movie. They just allowed me to see it so I can review it so I can direct you guys to there. But it was really, really sad. Like, I think the tribute lasted about maybe 10 to 15 minutes really sad now we are basically in a google hangout that's like the only private live streaming thing you can actually use if we put it on twitch everybody would have saw it so you know the guy had to put it on google hangout if i was on in there we checked it out it was amazing i loved every single second of it you know paul walker when he died man he shook up like the whole community of the fast and furious people were really getting in the cars because of him his death impacted a lot of people and i'm glad that they're giving back Peace out.